During the Ramstein Legacy 2022 exercises, NATO members and allies practiced using air defense and missile defense systems. The efficiency of these systems proved to be high. However, weapons have appeared in the world against which all existing anti-missile defense systems are powerless. These are not nuclear warheads and not ultra-modern fighters, but hypersonic missiles. In connection with this fact, the Committee of the House of Representatives on the Armed Services of the U.S. Congress demanded that Pentagon release a missile defense strategy to combat hypersonic missiles. But this requirement is meaningless. Today, no one is able to withstand the impact of hypersonic missiles. No one except China. Now you will find out what Beijing has to oppose the most formidable and invulnerable weapon of the 21st century. To understand the full depth of the problem of defense against hypersonic weapons, you need to immerse yourself a little in the situation. So, hypersonic speed is a speed exceeding Mach 5. It is with this speed that the rocket moves towards the target. In reality, this speed is even higher, up to Mach 10. The problem is that even after detecting a flying hypersonic object, it is problematic to destroy it. The speed of a hypersonic missile is so high that no other missile can catch up with it. Destruction is possible only by pure chance, but how can you trust your safety to chance? For comparison, most cruise missiles fly in the atmosphere at Mach 0.6 to 0.8. Therefore, they are relatively easy to detect with radars and shoot down with missile defense systems. The speed of ballistic missiles is much higher, Mach 24 to 28. However, it is much easier to shoot down a ballistic missile than a hypersonic target. It would seem that we have a contradiction. A hypersonic missile flies at the speed of up to Mach 10, and a ballistic missile up to Mach 28. And yet, a hypersonic missile is more invaluable and dangerous. Paradox? There is no paradox here. The fact is that a ballistic missile has a stable and high trajectory. The ballistic missiles are launched from fixed silos whose locations are well known. After launch, the missile flies strictly in an arc along a predictable trajectory, so the air defense system can easily calculate and intercept the target. For example, on February 21, 2006, an SM-6 missile launched from the cruiser USS Lake Erie and destroyed a satellite that was moving at Mach 26. Its trajectory was stable. If the satellite was maneuvering, then it would be problematic to eliminate it. We will return to this case a little further to talk more about the American SM-6 rocket. It deserves it. And now it should be said about another exceptional ability of hypersonic missiles, they are hyper-maneuverable. And this is the second unsolvable problem for missile defense and air defense systems. Hypersonic missiles fly not only fast, but also along an unpredictable trajectory. It is possible to launch a hypersonic missile from any carrier, from a mobile launcher on a wheeled chassis to an aircraft carrier. In flight, the rocket actively maneuvers, changes the height and direction of the flight. Overloads during maneuvering reach 50 G. To recap the problem, hypersonic missiles are capable of flying fast, unpredictably, and at varying altitudes. They combine the advantages of cruise and ballistic missiles, but at the same time do not have their disadvantages. What countermeasures did China come up with? Chinese missile defense developers took the most difficult but the shortest path. They decided to create a tool for predicting the trajectory of a hypersonic missile. It looks like their tactic is working. It is a computer program based on AI. The main idea of the developers is that any flying object obeys the laws of physics. This means that there are restrictions on it. If all restrictions are taken into account, then the options for possible maneuvering become less. Roughly speaking, if the rocket flies at the speed of Mach 10, then the angles of roll, pitch, and yaw have the same value. With increasing speed, the angles decrease, which means that the degree of deviation from the main course decreases. Based on this data, the AI calculates the likelihood of further missile maneuvers until it reaches the general maneuvering algorithm. In parallel, AI analyzes other information about the object that affects its flight characteristics, design, aerodynamics, dimensions, etc. All computational operations occur at an incredible speed. The developers claim that it will take about 15 seconds for a complete and guaranteed capture of the target, and for its destruction, 3 minutes. As the Chinese system develops, the processing speed will certainly increase. 
Chinese developers will only have to train AI to ignore false data that affects the accuracy and speed of predicting the trajectory. This task is not easy, especially if the hypersonic missile gets a device capable of feeding the AI a large amount of incorrect information in real time. Let's say Chinese engineers will solve this task. Then the problem of destroying a missile arises because traditional missile defense systems can only shoot down a hypersonic object on a collision course. And for this, it will be necessary to increase the density of missile defense by several times along the entire length of the state border or front line, depending on the situation. Moreover, missile defense must be able to work autonomously, without human intervention, because the speed of response in the case of a hypersonic threat is extremely important. But even if all these conditions are met, the probability of destroying a hypersonic target by a conventional missile system is 16 to 23 percent. This is the data of Russian developers of hypersonic missiles. It turns out that only missiles capable of overtaking hypersonic targets can become a more reliable alternative to super-dense missile defense. That is, only hypersonic missiles are really effective against hypersonic missiles. And there is the problem, the accuracy of the hit. The fact is, the accuracy of hypersonic missiles is noticeably lower than that of cruise and ballistic counterparts. The reason is the crazy speed. The processors on board of the rocket simply do not have the time to correct the flight at the final stage. The enormous mechanical and thermal loads that occur at hypersonic speeds also increase the risk of various failures during the flight of a rocket. Because of this, the error of Chinese hypersonic missiles, for example, is several kilometers. This is a monstrous error which can only be offset by the power of the warhead. Therefore, China so far considers its hypersonic missiles exclusively at nuclear charge carriers. They are not suitable for jewelry work. But they are also designed for targets such as a cruiser, an aircraft carrier, or a large strategic ground facility. For example, the dagger based on the MiG-31K was used to attack an ammunition depot in western Ukraine. By the way, this was the first case of combat use of hypersonic weapons in the history of mankind. However, in order to hit a smaller object, the accuracy of the types of hypersonic missiles existing in the world is clearly not enough. Note that the weight of the missile warhead in the event of a hit on a hypersonic target is not so important. The kinetic energy of objects is so high that a collision in the air will definitely cause critical destruction of the rocket and the flight will stop. While China is improving AI, the US has taken a fundamentally different path. According to American developers, high-power microwave weapons can become the main enemy of Russian and Chinese hypersonic missiles. Such a combat system consists of three blocks – power supply, radiation source, guiding antenna. Compared to traditional rocket artillery, microwave weapons have many tactical advantages. Microwaves with directional radiation are not affected by external factors. They are not afraid of wind, bad weather, inertia, gravity, and so on. A microwave weapon only needs a power supply and does not require any major logistics or ammunition supply during operations. Focused beams of electromagnetic energy with a frequency of 500 MHz to 3 GHz can disable the electric systems on board the rocket. The U.S. Army RCCTO has already developed a short-range air defense system to destroy swarms of drones. These developments can be adapted to combat hypersonic missiles. Microwave weapons are referred to as directed energy weapons do. It also includes laser guns, plasma, and sound radiation. All these weapons can hardly be called numerous, so they are not suitable for protection against hypersonic missiles right now. How will the states defend themselves if Russia or China suddenly use hypersonic weapons tonight? So far, the United States has early warning systems and SM-6 missiles capable of shooting down hypervelocity targets. We already mentioned this missile when we talked about the destruction of the satellite by the cruiser Lake Erie. Early warning means including tracking satellites that are already in orbit. The Pentagon is hastily building up this grouping. With the help of satellites, it is possible to more or less accurately determine the launch site of a hypersonic missile and the separation of its first and second stages. Data from satellites is transmitted to the Air Defense Services, the U.S. Air Force, and the U.S. Navy in real time. And here, the SM-6 missiles should come into play. There is a modification of the SM-6 against maneuverable targets. It has an active homing head, GOS. The speed of these anti-missiles is Mach 3.5. 
This means that the SM6 cannot be used on catch-up courses, only on head-on courses. Not good, but at least something. Another fact is confusing. So far, these are exclusively C-based SM6s, which limits the possibility of their use. However, the SM6 is the only line of defense against hypersonic weapons. Therefore, we pray. No threat is static. Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin are also working on anti-missile systems. Contracts with the U.S. Missile Defense Agency to develop a weapon system to intercept and destroy hypersonic missiles have already been signed. We will definitely talk about these developments in another video.